Hi, my name is Rihanna Anderson. I'm a 2006 graduate of psychology and political science, and I'm currently a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Pennsylvania. So a postdoctoral fellow is someone who has completed their PhD and is perhaps looking at a faculty position or a full-time clinical position and wants to specialize a bit in something and some sort of training before they go. So for me, I was interested in specializing in community and family level interventions. And so a lot of the psychological work that we might do as clinicians is one-on-one -on -one, um, and, and really building from the rapport that we have with certain clients. And sometimes we use manuals. And so I wanted to be someone who not only developed manuals, but could teach other people and facilitate um, that learning of manuals. So I wanted to specialize in, with someone who does that quite well. And so that's what brought me to the University of Pennsylvania. So I chose to major in psychology because I thought uh, about preventative approaches to some of the things that I saw around as a Detroit child. So I was looking at some of the things that my neighborhood um, had, and sometimes it was crime, sometimes it was violence, and I was wondering in what ways we could think about a preventative approach to some of those problems. And so I thought about mental health as a way to tap into um, the strength that individuals have, the, the promises, the hopes that folks have, and wanted to tap into that a bit more than um, saying uh, pejorative or, um, or really negative things about them as perhaps um, you know, a lawyer or um, someone who is a medical uh, professional who's dealing with some of the ramifications of some of those things. So I wanted to take a preventative approach. So that's what got me into psychology in the first place. And um, it's really been a, a pretty clear line from making that psychology decision and saying I wanted to be clinically trained. And so some of the stops that I've made along the way haven't been as clear and they've been really um, uh, like all over the map, especially if you look at the, the, the map and where I've been, it's been a pretty broad regional and national kind of approach, but I wanted to get the best training that I could. And so that, that took me to different places um, but I really appreciate the type of training that I've received um, thus far, and it's allowed me to, to get my clinical psychology and community psychology PhD. The advice that I have for folks who want to do what I'm doing is that it's really challenging to uh, persevere and persist in a PhD program, and so you really have to think about the support that you need to get through, if that's family, if that's religion, if it's the gym, if it's, you know, making fresh foods every day, like whatever it is that uh, you need to make it through this journey, you should have um, along with you because it is really quite challenging, but it's totally doable. So um, knowing that people have done it before you, knowing that there are alums out there who you can contact if you ever need help is really something that um, helped me as I was going through. And so I made sure to have several mentors, um, my friends, my family, and, and my religious support to get me through. The thing that's contributed the most to um, my career success um, is, again, the folks who have been around me. So the network that I've been able to create, and some of those people are from Michigan, right? So thinking about um, when you go to conferences and seeing the people who are doing the work that you're doing, you can see them as enemies or you can see them as collaborators. And the folks who collaborate more often get more research done, more um, papers out, more publications. And so those are the people who are able to get on the map um, a bit uh, a bit better. So I would think about all the opportunities and all the people that you meet as potential networking opportunities.